guys, I'm Tim. Welcome to Flipper Flicks, where the reviews are unprofessional and the laughs are real. Uh, I got Sam and Adam here for you. <laughs> We're keeping it going! <laughs> Cue the music! <laughs> Sam, talk about monster trucks! Oh, I'm out of by the way. <laughs> She can do Ooh, it. Why does it crackle, Sam? Whew. We watched this movie. <clears throat> we watched this movie. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought that I should read their synopsis because I just really like that they have a whole why it crackles. Like, what the fuck does that even Well, mean? before you do that, what movie did we see? <laughs> you will have to wait to find out. All right, all right. <laughs> Carry on, oh, man. man. We watched Monster Trucks on Crackle. And one of my favorite things about Crackle is that in their synopsis, they say why it crackles. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. What does it mean? <laughs> but, anywho, it crackles because it's one of those boy and his monster movies they just don't make anymore. Oh, wait. I guess they do. See, like, do you need a better synopsis than that? Adam <laughs> tells you so much about it. So much about the movie. But in case you wanted a real synopsis, it also had another sentence that I would have read for you. Do you want me to read Fuck! it? I'll read it. I'll read it. All right. All right, looking for any way to get away from the life in town he was born into. Trip, a high school senior, built. A monster truck from bits and pieces of scrapped cars. So this one was a Nickelodeon movie. <laughs> Good She's voice. just dying Good in voice, right by there. The way. And uh, you can rent it on Google Play for two ninety nine, or you can buy it. Just go all in and buy it for twelve ninety nine. Or or you go free. Don't do that. <laughs> or go free and get it, watch it on Crackle. Crackle. Yeah, do that. Sony yes. Crackle. Did you know Sony has a Crackle? I don't know, and I still don't know what why, crackle is. What, yeah. what exactly is crackling? I don't either, but it's free. <laughs> it's free, so that's a pro. A con is that you will have commercial breaks, so like that doesn't bother me. Our Hulu has commercials, but if you're one of those people that hates commercial breaks, you probably don't want to watch Crackle. Maybe you're better off renting it. Just saying. But any other pros and cons with Crackle? I mean, I thought oh. it was fine. I liked that you didn't have to make an account. Yeah, I yeah, that was in. nice. We have it on our TV, so that was a, a bonus for us because didn't have to download any extra apps. Yeah. What about you, Tim? Any thoughts on Crackle? No. I Honestly, I like the name. The, I don't know The why. name is pretty good. We still all know yep. what it means. What does it but mean? We like it. No, I have no idea, but, you know, I like it. They were just like, how can we make this Sam girl just start cracking up the whole movie? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Did I already say it was a Nickelodeon movie? You no, did. Nickelodeon you did. It's a Nickelodeon yeah. it's production a... film. And We're missing it. out on the old VHS. It would be an orange VHS tape. Yeah, which we didn't get that. Did they make orange DVDs? I don't think we're missing out on that. No, we are. I like my orange VHSs, man. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. I didn't think anybody made any. I'm going to tell you, when, when the Nickelodeon thing popped up, I... <laughs> I, 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 I you I, check out? I, no, you I, checked well, in. <laughs> Uh, that was my first eye roll. All right, oh, all right. No! Well, before we go into the movie, Tim, can you spell Nickelodeon? No, because Sam can't. No, I'm not. Just, I'm just not gonna try. attempt because I'll do it. I'll I'll do it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, just know that I don't really know how to spell. I spelled it wrong in my notes. Yeah. It's she also. Nick we should. We should. Nickelodeon. <laughs> it's a nickel. O D Young. But Sam was posting on her Instagram, which hey. We have an Instagram now. Come follow us. Whoa. We post very interesting things, definitely. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll just give you a, it gives you a, a heads up. taste of what's going on in our lives and what's going on in the podcast. And the handle's Flipper Flicks. Y'all. Yes, yes. Yeah, the Twitter is too. Check us out there. Yeah, we're still waiting for Tim to give us his agreement that he'll make some roundhouse oh, kick videos. To, yeah, he still hasn't uh, done that. Uh, so, he still hasn't done that. No, just, I kind of forgot about it, and I was happy I forgot about yeah, it. Yeah, well, it's back. Yeah. <laughs> so, if you like us, you know, just tweet at us or find us on Instagram and just spam us that you want to see Tim doing some roundhouse kicks, and then he'll oh, have he to do it. Oh, will have to do it. I have faith in him. Uh, 
But yeah, like I, we were, Tim brought up that we're very unprofessional. Like, I should really note that I myself am terrible at pronouncing names. Let's let's look yeah. at last week's episode. I can't read, so he don't read no good. <laughs> and I can't I spell, no so there we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So let's look, let's go back. Let's look back at um, Agent Lenny Miller from Anna. I know, sorry, not Monster Trucks yet, but I just really want to point out that his act, the actor's name is. Killian Murphy, not Cillian, like I said, the entire episode. He is, in fact, not Italian. He's Irish. He is Irish. <laughs> so we're sorry about Irish that, star. Killian. We didn't mean it. If somehow you find this, I really want to apologize from the bottom <laughs> of my heart. Especially because oh. we were praising you so much. He probably doesn't care too much, but. No, <laughs> no, he definitely does. It happens all the time, right, yeah. Killian? Right. I'm saying right yeah. for him. But yeah, Tim, so you're saying you got some eye rolls just from the beginning. Like, did you watch a trailer for Monster Trucks? Or no. No? No? I've been sticking to not watch it. Okay, okay. I like that. I like that. So we kind of couldn't not watch it because <laughs> we saw it in theaters like seven times. Not yeah. the movie, the trailer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because we, we had like the movie pass before that disappeared. Right. And we have the AMC A-list, so... We've been to the theater quite a bit, so you see yep, the same yep, yep. Um, trailer about seven times before it leaves. Yeah, and I mean, this movie was memorable. Because I said I wanted to see it. Because he said he wanted to see it, and we saw the trailer so many times. So that is why I picked it for Box Office Bust. Whoa, Ooh. we totally forgot to tell you that part, too. So last week, if you weren't here, we <laughs> rolled Box Office Bust, which means anything that failed in theaters compared to the budget. Or... Anything that just didn't ex- it didn't make expectations. It didn't so, make expectations. So like a movie like Justice League, they expected it to make more money than it did. But like we really need to talk about how much of a bust this was because it lost one hundred twenty three million dollars after factoring in all expenses and revenue. So even Ugh. looking at just the box office and the budget, hmm, one hundred twenty three million down the drain. Just to see these awesome monster trucks. So now <laughs> that you heard that it failed, let's read about our uh, scores here. On Rotten Tomatoes, we had a 32% by critics. Ooh. I mean, I feel like that's part of the course with every movie we've reviewed so far, but I don't really remember. Yeah, mm, no. Critics are usually pretty harsh. And then we had Harry a and the Hendersons fifth... was high. Oh, okay. Harry was high. What, critics How... didn't have high on Harry and the Hendersons? Oh, it didn't? No. Oh, yeah, no, we've been definitely high, low high in this shenanigans. Welcome to Flipper Flakes. We Welcome to Flipper Flakes. We can't even remember what we <laughs> It's said. been a week or two, and uh, yeah. Anywho, if you want to find out what Harry and the Hendersons got. Watch episode one. Yeah, go back there. We'll tell you there. <laughs> and it got a 51% by audience. Monster Trucks got a 51%. One in two people like it. Yes, so we'll put those odds to the test here in a bit. On Google Play, it got a 4.3%. So I just feel like this, I think, is a blanket statement, if I remember correctly. The Google Play reviews, they're just, they're higher, right? Like, I feel like they're everything we've watched it's has a, been in the fours. It's a rating of five. That's just going to be a higher rating. Yeah, but I'm just saying, I think the Google Play I'm more nicer. likely to give somebody a four out of five than an, I could give somebody a seven out of ten. It's easier for me to give seven out of ten than out of four, yeah. like, than to drop to a three and a half out of five. That's true. Like, it's, yeah. Well, maybe it's a bunch of kids rating it being like yeah. nickelodeon's great na, 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 five star na, 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 nickelodeon all right yeah. cool well, let's talk about our expectations going into the movie so, so we saw the trailer and we were i thought it looked like a rambunctious time a rambunctious time okay <laughs> <laughs> um i would say that i it was one of those movies that i was like i'm not gonna pay to see it but since i have this subscription service like maybe if i have a free spot i'll see it so it wasn't super high on my list. However, when Box Office Bus came around, I knew exactly which one I wanted to watch, and it was this one. So <laughs> I guess that you could say that I kind of wanted to see it, and I had expectations that it would be I. What about you, Tim? Yeah, Tim. Hmm. Tim's a huge monster truck guy. Is he? Yeah. No idea. Are you? I have no, no idea. I haven't known him for like <laughs> no. <laughs> forever, but... I don't think we've ever once discussed monster trucks. You know, trucks. they're kind of cool. Uh, like no, brr, I don't brr. know. I think, like, I was expecting something a little different. 
Yeah? Did you expect actual because monster I hadn't trucks? Seen anything? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. I don't know what I expected, but I, it wasn't that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. All I don't. Right. I don't even know. I it just. I didn't really have expectations for it, but I also expected it to be like low budget, weird, and terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I did not know it was going to be a Nickelodeon, you know, kind 120 of million dollar budget. Yeah, like yeah, good CGI sort of thing and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then you get to see Creed. Oh, spoilers! Oops. Yeah, Oops. spoilers. Oops, we did it again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think we got too into it, but no. yeah, spoilers. Don't spoilers. go watch the movie. If you don't want to be spoiled, if you want to. Or not, and just listen to us talk about it. Either way. And then go watch it. Yeah, or do both. Listen to us while watching it, because I can guarantee you we're not going to go in line with the movie. No. No, never. So that ending. (laughs) (laughs) That ending, though. Nah, Tim, Tim, do you watch Nat Geo? Because that was my one of the best quotes of the movie. Oh, we're rolling into quotes. I'm rolling into the quotes. He's with this Meredith Trip. Trip is um the main yeah, character. Yeah, what a name. Trip. How do you spell it? T R I P P. Yeah, there are two P's. I yep. thought there was only gonna be one. Uh, yep. Well, it should have been three because it could have been short for triple. Oh. Miss Nickelodeon, go ahead at that. <laughs> but Meredith, his um fun friend, buddy, which by the way, they're both the actor and actress that played Trip and Meredith. They looked way too old. Yes, they certainly did. But They're, hold on a yeah. minute. They're not fun buddies. No. She fun friend. No. Has the buddies. hots for him, but they are oh, they they are what? Like buddied up because of science or something? Like they're just because science. Because he partners. was failing biology. Okay, so she's his tutor. Biology tutor. Yeah, yes. she was. So that's not a fun buddy yet. <laughs> fun <laughs> period. First... Buddy. I feel like she set that up on the side with the teacher, like, yo, dog, let me uh, tutor this kid. And then uh, and then he had to just roll with it because the teacher said she's your tutor now. And, and then he was like, I'm not showing yeah. up to my uh, my classes. Yeah. Because I'm going to go crush stuff with a giant hydraulic press over in the junkyard with Mr. What's his name, guys? Mr. Weathers. Okay, wait. I want to come back to that, but... Let's talk about the do you watch not Dio quote. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because I think that that was great. Because, because I love Nat Geo. I do, too. <laughs> and so when she was like, let's set the presence here. Basically, he's already met the creature, right? Creech. At this point, Creech. Creech the creature. And he's asking her if there's a possibility for there to have been, like, new species or whatever. Or if there's been any discovered any time recently. And she's all like, goes <gasps> off on a tangent about it. And then she's like, wait, do you watch Nat Geo? And I just thought that was so great. Because that's something that I would do. Because I love Nat Geo. Yeah, she got me hooked. It is very good. It's great. Yes. So no, I'd be I have of something. Meredith. But go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So he, he asks her there, he's like, uh, any new creatures? But he specifically says sea creatures. Yeah, I know. And I, I looked away, like, rolled my eyes for a second. I was like, why sea creature? What do you mean? How do you, you're not in the sea. That's it. At most, it was like, my thought was amphibian or something, right? Like, because he's all slimy and whatnot. They, he ended up being like an amphibian is what they said. But yeah, like, that was my first thought was like, Wait, he just said sea creature, and all this thing did was, like, roll around and drink oil. I don't know. But it had How, tentacles. Why does he... It had tentacles, like a yeah, octopus, but... which is a sea creature. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but you're right. Be... I mean, he was on land. He never once was in yeah, any water. Yeah, he never was near water. So <laughs> Not yet he was assume that it was a sea creature? Yeah, right. Like, he didn't discover that until, what, three-fourths of the way through the movie? <laughs> the thing yeah. jumped in the water and would glow and shit? Yeah. I don't know. It was basically just fat toothless that couldn't fly. That was he wa- I, I got a lot of how you tra- how to train your dragon vibes from this movie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think it was his face. Creature's face. Face it, and yeah. yeah, his noises and stuff, yeah. But this was Nickelodeon's version. They make these giant sea creature that are bioluminescent. Which, because I was going to say at first, like, he should be blind. Like... Because he lives so deep in the sea, like anglerfish and whatnot. The oh, eyes yeah. are just not great. Uh, it's probably a form of communication. Oh, that's true. Ooh. Ooh. You're probably right. I don't know. Yeah. I didn't think that far ahead. No. <laughs> but I was thinking, like, a lot of sea creatures down there 
can't you they have no sense of eyesight because of the light well the lack thereof light that's yeah. true yeah so i thought that was interesting but then they had all the bioluminescence so they're glowing at least i guess Which i can pretty see cool they gotta spot their oil yeah there you go <laughs> But going back to the Smasher, um, I have a question for you two car people. I'm not a car manly person. men. Um, I'm going to sound like one, but I'm not. Yeah, you guys know what's up. Uh, do cars actually explode out liquid if you squish them like that? Like, you know how he squished the first car? And it just looked like it just exploded with liquid. I mean, you got, yeah, I don't know if they emptied the fluids or not when they go to do that. But if you don't, yeah. There's there's a bunch of different fluids up in the engine. You would have stuff you would have fluids popping out of you if we put you on ew, the hydraulic press. Ew, 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 ew. I'm so sorry. I'm just I asked saying. This question. <laughs> I'm just saying, like you're yeah. There's fluids in there, girl. Yeah, that, that that's a normal thing. That wasn't out of place. I don't. I mean, the colors might have been a little off, but okay. So that yeah. was just me. That was just you. <laughs> Only you. Only you were like weird liquids. Now backing up before that. I also wanted to chat about how the opening scene when they first found the creatures <laughs> was brought to you by Michael Bay. Did you see oh, all yeah. these explosions? Oh, gosh, yeah. All of the <laughs> explosions. Why? I don't know. Because they're going to explode. <laughs> yeah, but Michael Bay didn't direct it. Like, I mean, what? What were Did they? He? They're an oil plant. So I guess there could be some explosions. Like, that's... But I don't know. The sheer amount of explosions... <laughs> was far too much for what was happening. It's a little ridiculous. Yeah, yeah for sure. The Roblo. Oh, yes. Roblo. It just... comes out of the most fake-looking helicopter I've ever seen in a movie. <laughs> that thing looked like it was on a wire. <laughs> it was. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, Roblo. They do it, right? Don't they do it like wires and stuff? But... Oh, I, I don't, don't know. I've not watched, I've not watched those outtakes. Sam? No, I don't know. It just looked ridiculous. <laughs> I think that you probably could, in a low budget operation, get like a toy helicopter and like put it on a wire. Oh, and yeah. Then, like gradually zoom in. So, yeah, I think so. Yeah. But I, I know that I, I'm a big Rob Lowe fan because I just find him funny. I got to say, low key, the number one character, though, has to be Sam, the little ginger guy, the little redhead. Hmm. Yes. Oh, like uh, the that was in the shop or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, his dad yeah. owns owns the Dodge store. Yeah. Oh, it's so amazing. First line of the movie: "I'm growing out my hair." We totally look like brothers now. I was rolling <laughs> at this point. Well, for anyone who hasn't seen the movie, you have Trip, right? Who's like, I I don't know. He's just like a normal looking human with some longish hair. Right. And it's like dirty blonde. But like we'll say, for instance, he's definitely taller and skinnier than Sam. To Sam. And Sam is like a short, fat little ginger kid. So even if he grows out his hair, they're not going to look the same. So I don't know. I had that one written down, too. I thought that was Oh, it was so good. I I don't know. I was dying at that point. Yeah, that was a good one. But yeah, like, can we just talk about how smart Trip is? Uh, Trip, genius kid, right? He sees yeah. some movement behind. <laughs> Wait for the punchline. Go ahead. He sees some movements behind all these barrels before he meets Creech, and he chucks a wrench at it. Who is he? A guy from Dodgeball? What is? It? Patches O'Houlihan? Who does he think he is? Throwing wrenches. Uh, I'd do it. You would do it? No, I would keep the wrench. That that's probably expensive. I wouldn't throw tools. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you find something else. I want that back. <laughs> yeah, 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 bring that back to me, please. You got car parts laying around. Throw one of those. <laughs> that's back true. You're in a wrench. junkyard. Like yeah. there had to have been something bigger, right? And like <laughs> less expensive that he could have thrown at him. Like a rock when he starts throwing rocks at a car. <laughs> Because there's that whole scene where after he yeah, saves he him. The, yeah. yeah. Oh, when he saves him from the hydraulic press. Sam's over here screaming, move! Move! <laughs> I, was, I was going, movie over, movie over, movie over. No, no, no. So, oh, no. so two different opinions on that no, part. love for Creech. <laughs> Gotta love that? Creech, man. God, that's such a terrible name, too, Creech. It was a really terrible name. I'm telling you, Trip is a so genius. Cool. Well, and I think my favorite part is, doesn't he explain it? Which part? His name? Yeah. Why he named it Oh, I named Creech. the creature. His yeah. name is Creech. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I think you could have yeah, just... Yeah, I caught on to that one. <laughs> yeah. I think we could have <laughs> just let that slide and we would have figured that out. 
Yeah, who, who else did you guys like in the movie? What about Burke? I don't even know who Burke is. Tim, do you know who Burke is? I'll give you uh, two guesses. The sheriff? No, one no, more guess. No, Burke was the guy in the the black. The uh, the He's like guy? the villainous the guy. guy. Yeah. 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 Anybody else notice he had an earpiece, earpiece in? Like he's supposed to be like some yeah, the whole time. CIA sort of <laughs> bullshit. I didn't know yeah, walks, walks into the sheriff's office like asking about all this stuff with an earpiece in. Why are you asking about all this secret stuff? Uh, you know, no reason. Earpiece. Then, then he had that line. classic line, go back to riding tickets and shooting cows off the road. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. But yeah, like, Rob Lowe, he walks in with Rob Lowe, he's like, I don't do any dirty work. He's highly yeah. recommended, though. I'm like, oh gosh. <laughs> we're going on a trip here, guys. <laughs> That's Or true. a ride, because you know we're in monster trucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, when they do go to the police station... There was this guy in the background. Okay, well, first off, the first guy's watching SpongeBob. Which two I cases thought. of SpongeBob in the movie. I only saw one of them. Mm-hmm. Oh, there are two cases. There are two. You're going to have to rewatch okay. it now. Yeah, I got to go find that second <laughs> case. Well, this is the first case that we know of. And one only of the case two. One of the two. Of, where the first guy in the desk is watching SpongeBob. And then the guy in the back, I have no idea what face he's making. This goes up with Sarah's. Dewey face. Like, <laughs> this guy is just like duck facing is like the best that I can describe. Oh, I don't it. know. But like, so the CIA guy, Burke, is talking to the front guy about who knows what. Just, I think they're just questioning, right? But the guy in the back, you can just see the camera and the guy in the back's duck facing. And we haven't even talked to him yet. And then the camera zooms in on him for whatever question he's supposed to answer. And he's still duck facing. Like, I don't <laughs> get it. I don't know why we're making that face. I don't know. Is that his thinking face? Like, I just thought that was hilarious. I can't. I can't with that. That's just the face that I make when that people ask me questions. That was face. Yeah. <laughs> and Sheriff Rick is like, can you please leave, sir? Like, this is, like, important stuff about my stepson. Yeah, I guess. Maybe stepson? That. I don't know. I don't know if he was, like, boyfriend or husband to, to the mom. Sheriff at Rick. least boyfriend. At least boyfriend who's been around least, for a while. Yeah, seems like it, yeah. It's always that movie where the stepson is always getting into trouble. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it did follow that yeah. archetype for sure. It yeah. definitely did. If it weren't for knowing that Sheriff Rick was the dad, I swear there were no cops in this small town up in North Dakota. That's true. Uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like that's portrayed a lot in like small town movies. So yeah. I don't... They're, yeah, like, I either crooked I mean, or, like, they know the yeah, main character. Or, like, or super, like, out there, like, country-ish or, you know, just something, I don't know. Yeah, just just, just not a normal cop. There's like, always some little thing, in, at least in movies, that they're, like, they have a little niche about them or, you know, there's just not a lot of them or whatever. But. Yeah, because, like, this car, these cars are crawling all over the walls. And there's a single sheriff following him. <laughs> That's it. And that's only because it's his stepson. That's more realistic than like 30 cars in a small town. No, 30 cars, period. No more, no less. (laughs) Must be 30 cars present. Maybe in a city, but... This is Grand Theft Auto, man. Cars crawling on... Yeah, cars crawling on walls. Uh. So I I gotta say, like, so he... The way he started crawling on the walls, like, he pulled a steering wheel back to get it to jump. Like, but he, like, makes, like, a lever for the rest of it. Yeah, I didn't get well, that. Like, yeah, why wouldn't so you make another lever? My thought was animal, animal cruelty. First of all, no, uh, yeah, no creatures were hurt during like, this film. He, 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 what zaps him with air, and that's yes. what makes him it like jump him. or whatever. So that he's like, tickles okay, him. I'm gonna start doing that. I don't know if it tickles him. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I was like, oh, okay, straight into it. Then got it. He's uh, like, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was weird. I don't know. It's like he he taught him things that we didn't know behind the scenes. Like, it, but we we saw him do that, and like we saw him do that thing, part. But then, but, but then, then he just decided to crawl. Do, and like almost like telepathy, he would be like, "Okay, I do this," and then like it would do it, even though he's like telling it just I don't know. <laughs> forever. <laughs> <laughs> well, when the truck scales the wall, I think my favorite part was Burke's face. Like, when he just is like, what the fuck, mate? Like, he has, like, his hands up, and I don't know, his his face is probably just, like, Tim's face the entire time he's watching the movie. Yeah, probably. <laughs> like, I was thinking, like, he could be the perfect, like, what was it, CSI, 
where he takes the glasses off and it became the meme. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And that that is like what yeah. I envision of Burke yeah. doing that. Yeah. We we also got to talk about how like there's that random other couple that ne- like they didn't say anything except for like mock his car once. Couple or brother sister. Oh yeah. Yeah, I didn't know what was going on. Are you on. talking about the ones in like the green? The truck? green truck. Co- yeah. Couple of all right. people. Yeah. Like, well, I, all I right. First of all, I have something on that for you, Sam. <laughs> Uh, okay. Here's your car okay. problem that I have in the movie. One of them. So that truck. Well, first of all, that kid just drives through fields and doesn't give a crap about anything. Uh, North Dakota. Anyway, that truck's like a V8 at most, right? And he's got stacks on it as if it's a rolling coal. He's just like, no, it's not a diesel. Why is that there? It's, it's. A, I get it, it's a kid's movie, whatever. But I had problems like that throughout the movie. <laughs> Tim's gonna watch this and be like, that engine makes no that sense. Is... Not accurate. <laughs> and then the bad guy trucks had all the gauges and stuff that a turbo diesel would have. But guess what? I didn't hear no diesel. Oh, I didn't <laughs> either. I totally know what that sounds no like, and I did not hear it. But Tim, since you know about trucks, it's clearly, same. did you get the line when he said he goes to his like old blue truck at the beginning? Oh from yeah, that, that's that, my favorite line. Yeah, the I'm gonna put an elephant in you. Okay, that wasn't my favorite. I did yeah, not yeah, yeah. Catch that. Oh yeah, he said I'm gonna put an elephant in you, and I was like, I "That's remember weird." That. Yeah. So that actually makes sense because the original 426 Hemi was called the Elephant yeah. Motor. Yeah, the Elephant. Yeah. Well, that's why that's where the Elephant came from nowadays, I believe, for like the Hellcat and stuff. Oh. And, uh, the crate. There's a crate motor called the Elephant that comes with a thousand horsepower. Oh, nice. So yeah, the original Elephant. Yep. Did you Did you catch the part where when the that red truck that was first crushed in like the opening scene, it had a different label on it. It wasn't as big of an engine as this 426 Hemi. It was a smaller engine. I did not see that, no. No, I didn't either, but on IMDb's goofs list, I caught it. <laughs> nice. Uh, I'm good at reading sometimes. Nice. Yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't. I wasn't paying attention <laughs> to that part, no. I will say, though, when he's like talking to his truck at the beginning before he finds Creech. God, I can't believe I just said it. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna just save like, that line. You're and gonna just be send the most beautiful everybody. truck out there, and I immediately was like, "Yup," because <laughs> I, I agree, it would have been. <laughs> yeah. He murdered it. Oh. You you love that blue truck? Uh, that that truck was dope. Yeah, that thing would have been a beast if he got it running and driving around. That would have been awesome to see. But then he just has a creature in the named Creech. Creech yeah. the creature. It still turned out to be the most beautiful car out of all of them. But yeah, uh, you didn't like all the, that, those extra jobs they did on those red and green cars. Uh, you know, uh, I'm gonna go I'm with not a an no. off-roader kind of guy. <laughs> You're not I mean, an off-roader. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it could look cool, but if I got a truck, I'd probably slam it and turn it into a race truck instead of, you know, going off-road with it. So. Yeah, that sounds like you. Yeah. Did anybody else notice that all of the illegal, mo- like, driving they did, first off, but that, like, nice lady in North Dakota waves to be like, oh, thanks for letting me over. He just slams right into her. He <laughs> absolutely well, well, wrecks her. <laughs> Well, he was also coming up, and when she gets over, she basically just cuts into him. I know. Like, she waves with her blinker on, like, yeah, I'm coming over, thank you, and smacks into him, like, well, hold up. <laughs> like Down here in Tampa, you wouldn't even get that. She would have been over there yeah, and gotten like, through, like, seven more cars. I, I, I saw that as not somebody being nice. That was sass. Like, straight up just, like, I'm coming in your lane, I have my blinker on, hello, hi, see you, yes, and, like, expecting them to break instead of you, like, as you cut them off. That's what I saw that as. I took that as, oh, friendly old country lady. She's not even old, she's middle-aged. No, I straight up, th- maybe that's city What do you think, I Sam? <laughs> I just took that as <laughs> straight up just cutting you off. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have some beef, first beef of the episode, well, first... Beef. First beef where I called it out. Beef. When he... Give me the beef. <laughs> so that just whole scene, right? So he revs him up with gas, which also, shout out to Meredith, $400 worth of gas. Oh my she God. She doesn't even bring it up. It's what a good a thing her family is rich as shit. Yeah. But that was not the point I wanted to make. <laughs> it was that. So that begins the whole, like, damage sequence, right? So, like... Right. He cuts into her, and then since Creech is, like, hyper, he runs into a bunch of other cars. He goes through a dealership and yeah. just <laughs> wrecks so many cars. And, like, so we don't even see, like, where's Step Police Dude now? Like, 
Nobody called him. No dealership is like, oh, it's fine. I'll just eat the costs on those like 10 yeah, cars was... you just destroyed. That was crazy. Crazy time. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah, that was ridiculous. Mm-hmm. It was funny, though, because that dealer was like, I'm going to unload this lemon on this I guy. I know. <laughs> I was like, dang. <laughs> dang, this, this movie got dark. But then it got wrecked, so it doesn't matter. It did. It did. It did. That old man was fine. I agree, though, Sam. That uh, that was a bit ridiculous. Yeah. Now, now, <laughs> he kind of like... got away with a lot. <laughs> yeah, he exactly. Did. It was just kind of like, okay, we'll ignore that, I guess. We just won't bring that up. No, That's no, how no. It's, it's, all, it's all good. It's all good. I mean, there's no way that truck had plates on it and wasn't <laughs> registered. So I don't know what there <laughs> Besides it, what it looked like, which was, I don't know, pretty obvious. If yeah. You know, <laughs> by. Very old blue truck. Yeah. With tentacles hanging out of it. Tentacles. Did no one notice the tentacles? Yeah. Because I did. Wait, so, so many oh, I didn't times see them you once. See when were, where were their tentacles? <laughs> Everybody ignores it. In the cilia? Yeah. All right, all right, Tim. You had. Uh, we in the last episode with Anna, you discussed how you're not the biggest fan of somebody just knowing stuff. Sure. Which was more preposterous? <laughs> the fact that he knew how to build all of these engine parts and everything as a high as a senior in high school, or him just spouting all those physics terms out one morning after not sleeping all night. I mean, I don't think I mean engines themselves aren't complicated. So if he's been doing it for a long time, or even just like a couple of years, he'd probably be able to build his own engine if he's been doing that like steadily. I, okay. I don't see a problem with that. Remember, he's failing biology though. Oh yeah. So she well, she rolls yeah, up but... and he starts talking about all the torque and everything, and I'm like, he's like, oh, and the velocity can increase if we do this and this and this, and she just looks at him. You're not dumb. <laughs> what? Oh, nothing. Yes, that was um, one of my favorite lines. <laughs> yeah, okay, I remember that. I, I mean, torque is not. No, I know, but an obscure. He was like explaining like the carpenter. actual physics right. of it. Yeah, and I was like, mm, you're failing. Although, I, you're failing biology right now. Right, but like to me, that's like he has an interest in one area, so maybe he focuses more on that and like would have a better understanding of that and doesn't care to learn anything about something else. So it's not necessarily that he's dumb; it's that he just does not care and he wants to focus on something else completely and like he he literally is just learning about that and more interested in that than going to than school and learning biology focusing on anything else yeah which <laughs> you know is a bad idea but uh, that's my take on it yeah i mean engines they're not complicated and i could see i don't know they, they kept saying he was dumb but it like <laughs> uh, I, think it was I, like I don't know just how they're supposed to portray him but but this meredith girl she had to have been stalking him she knew way right. too much about his family, him and everything about right. him. Like, she just shows up like, oh, hey, I brought note cards. Yeah, I I had that point, too. She just shows up to the junkyard, not knowing that he's going to be there at that time of night. Oh, and I, up, I have maybe. a curfew, like a very yeah. early curfew. Yeah, so like, what the heck, woman? But, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, it, it makes sense with her crushing on him or something, right? But, like, yeah. also at the same time, not. Yeah. Because you got cell phones, and she clearly had his number, I guess, already. That's so true. Well, yeah, like she definitely had first? it. Also, like, she tracked his phone at one point. Yes! She's just, don't and you he need was to like, have the app on that. the other phone? <laughs> like, don't you have to, like, put agreements on and everything? Nope, I can track yeah. anybody's phone at any time. Yeah. Okay, America. <laughs> like, I'm just in the bathroom. Poor Meredith. Yeah. Poor I Meredith. liked Meredith. <laughs> Meredith, that was like 27 being a uh, high schooler. Yeah, Meredith. But, yeah, she, uh, yep. Well, I had some beef in that note card scene. More beef. More beef. Do it. So earlier, when he went to call the cops, when he first found Creech, he, like, locked up the junkyard, right? Like, yes. he locked it all up, and then... Like, they got there, and he had to unlock it all, and they all came in. Okay. This time, when she shows up, and he's just, like, getting Creech in the truck, and they just leave, right? Because the bad guys are there. He doesn't lock up the junkyard. He's poor, basically just, like, walks out. Poor Mr. Weathers. No big deal. And I'm like, why did you worry about locking up the junkyard earlier, but now you suddenly don't give a crap? Also, do junkyards right. just have that amount? That much oil just laying around? Yeah. That's... I don't know. <laughs> Did anybody else notice? He just was getting barrels and barrels of barrels oil. Barrels and barrels of oil. Yeah. I mean, maybe, like, go back to the fluids thing. Maybe they do empty the fluids and he would have something like that. Yeah, like but... somewhat used oil. Yeah. Yeah. 
like maybe they drain the oil and whatnot, but but then why would the car have all these? The ship is gonna sail. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, But did Mister Weathers live nearby? You think like Danny Glover's character? I don't. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I would like to think that he did, but like the first, he lived on the property. I would. I always assume that. I don't know why. I thought that too, but then like why? Why didn't he he freak out by the noise first? Over who? Over the police. That's a good point. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. Well, maybe because yeah, he knew Sheriff he Dad. All in it. Sheriff yeah. Stepdad. Like he just seems like he wasn't readily accessible. Or, but maybe, maybe this right. was maybe just one of. Just dumb. <laughs> I will also state that Mr. Weathers is in a wheelchair, so yeah, that's true. For for somebody to try and save me from a giant amphibian tentacle monster. Not maybe call Mr. Not. Weathers. <laughs> but I would maybe don't throw a guy with a wheelchair at a monster. <laughs> Yeah, like, unless you're just trying to play, like, scapegoat and run for your life and hope that he feasts on him instead. Yeah. <laughs> Sam's going full horror movie here. Well, <laughs> no, I was just thinking that he had to have some skin in the game. If it was his junkyard, and it was like, this was basically, like, his child prodigy that had been working there all the time so that he knows all right. how to do all this stuff, and then you wouldn't be like, oh, let me go call him. I don't know, that just seems odd to me. But again, like, I think they kind of they either cut around some stuff or they just were, like, not addressing things because we only <laughs> saw him in, like, two scenes, right? Yeah. Like, the beginning and the end, so. No, he had a middle right. part. Maybe he just checks out of his junkyard. He doesn't, yeah. give, doesn't give no props. Yeah, he might not stay there. I'm not sure. That's a good point. Who knows? I, I would chalk a lot of the stuff that happens in the movie randomly or whatever without explanation kids movie stuff or as nickelodeon movie pushing itself along you know the convenience factor that they can just make things happen in the movie without having to explain it kind of thing yeah yeah but yeah that's a good catch actually that throws me off <laughs> yeah what do you what do you think of why the... wouldn't he be involved <laughs> right like he he's been living there like it's yeah. not like he was quiet well but i mean at the same time he knows that trip is going to be loud that's true. Yeah. It is what it is. He knows that this kid is working on trucks, dropping shit. But all those barrels fell and the hydraulic press went off. Yeah. We'll just chalk it up to like... He's also deaf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's old Selective and... Selective hearing. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't He's just care. in the back. I'm too old for this shit. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever the lethal weapon line is. I don't know. But that Tim? sounds right. Uh, I don't remember. I'm trying to think of the Sunny episode now. Wait, I'm getting too old for this shit? I'm getting too old for this shit. I'm getting too old for this shit. That would be the one line that I could think of, yeah. Did anybody else think it was a little crazy when, at the the last car chase up through the mountain, Trip just falls out of his, his seat. Mm-hmm. Like, dude was harnessed in. And then he was harnessed in again afterwards. It's pretty great, because he, uh, at one point, has a regular seatbelt. Yep. Yes. Uh, and then he has a harness, and then he has a regular seat belt again, I think. I don't know. There's a lot of continuity issues with this movie, I feel like. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> again, convenience of having things happen randomly. <laughs> <laughs> well, because the new trucks that they fixed up Definitely had the harnesses. harnesses. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, you're... Scientists had one. Yeah, and you're presumed to think, like, oh, maybe he just installed a harness. But, like, like you're saying, they cut back at a different time later on and he either doesn't have one or he has a regular seatbelt and you're like wait a minute so you can't just like dismiss it as like oh well he just put a new one in no no yeah yeah. he just he just loses it and then he's hanging for his life yeah i don't think i could stay i'm gonna be honest not holding on i'm dead 10 times out of 10 also i don't know about that door (laughs) yeah (laughs) that door also coming with me yeah you know i don't know about that sam you're able to hold on you got that grip strength of a titan no way. And no. that 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 scene was just... Tim, was Tim would have crawled back in, stood on top. So Lesson it. learned here, kids. Buckle up. Yes. Buckle up for safety. <laughs> Actually, I have something on that, right? So, like, when the three of them, the green truck, the red truck, and the Creech truck, are being chased oh, nice. and all of the monsters are in them, right? And they had, like, an unnecessary amount of bad guy cars. There were six. Yeah. I Did don't you know count? why. Yes, there were six. Nice. It was, in that formed it was up too fashion line. Yeah. yeah they just all black. Them, all the exact same. Yeah. All black. All the exact same. They were doing like flying V formations. Like it was ludicrous. But anywho, when the scientist guy who suddenly just decides that he's going to be a good guy. I love the scientist guy. Yeah. He was good. 
when he's like driving and then his monster like goes up and flips maybe one or two of the cars at least one yeah. he just goes i really hope they had their seat belts on <laughs> <laughs> so nickelodeon is just trying to let you know really like, no. you should wear seat right, belts yeah. definitely wear your seat belts kids also, we probably dropped too many curse words for children. Good yeah. children. Yeah, I don't think children listen to us, but uh, if they knows? do, wear the dang seatbelt. So, so during that car chase, go ahead, Tim. No, I was just yelling seatbelts. <laughs> seatbelt. Okay, so during that car chase scene, did anybody else know? Did Sam, I know, didn't notice this because I brought it up when we were watching. They did that like old school scream when one of the old evil guys yes, crashes. Yeah. Mm-hmm, yeah. Did you know it's called the I, wheel. I, Wilhelm I was scream? Gonna say, I couldn't. I forgot to look it up, but yeah, I couldn't remember the name of it. How many movies and fi- like films and TV series do you think it's been it's in? in? It's 50. In so many. It's used in so many. You think many. 50? 50. Not in that. 50. No, it's way more than that. All right, Tim, you uh, guess. I don't have a guess because I don't know that I can think of a number of movies. <laughs> Lots. I mean, I, I'll give you a percentage. I, I feel like. It's I don't have a percentage. 60%. Yeah, but, you know, it's like 60% of movies or something. 433 that films. Really? 433. Like That's way more than 50. <laughs> That's way more than 50. <laughs> yeah. Holy cow. The one I knew, I know it from Star Wars, like the original trilogy. Yeah. It's the scream that the stormtroopers always get hit with when yeah. they blow up. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's it's always the movies with people falling. Yep. And I thought in this movie it was like really out of place. It was, it just was like they so threw out of place. In there. The guy was just like, ah! It's and I'm like, like oh. Clearly not his voice. Yeah. <laughs> and it like, and it, and it in the worst way possible was it placed in a movie. But I think they literally just had to do it. Like, it's know, it's considered wanted, a stock sound. I think they, you can yeah, just buy the rights to, to it. sprinkle it in somewhere. And it was like, oh, here you go. Right here, do it. Could you imagine being the guy forced. that made the Wilhelm scream? You, you're like rich and famous and nobody knows it. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Or the, um, selling the screen for a dollar so he's not rich and famous. Yeah. He's just famous, kind of. Not well, really. either way, dude who made the Wilhelm scream, <laughs> thank you for making iconic. our life more interesting and iconic. <laughs> I know, I know. Now, now, this movie, going through those mountains, was not even in North Dakota. Okay. Yes. Thank you for bringing yeah. this up because I just wanted to know if anyone – ever could confirm that North Dakota looks like that. Because Why would you move there in a heartbeat? Yeah, I would, but I was just like, there's no way this is what North Dakota No, I don't think like. Canada's going to let you emigrate up there right now. So what part of Canada? British Columbia. Okay. Yeah, but one of the, the oil, like, the actual scene where the oil factory is, mm-hmm. oil drill, whatever it's called, Montgomery, Alabama. Wow, they're not even close to North Dakota. <laughs> they are not. What the heck? Yeah, because BC is. Why pick North Dakota then? Right. Well, because you gotta. We're we're gonna try and go through the the United States of America of movies. We got our North Dakota in. There we go. Well, I was gonna say they picked North Dakota because nobody could be like, that's not what North Dakota looks like. They're like (laughs) they're like seven people. Okay, sorry, North Dakotians, North Dakotaites. I don't know. Again, we don't know what things are called. We're not professionals. (laughs) But yeah, the. The folks up there in North Dakota, I apologize for my wife's harsh remarks that nobody lives up there. Because yeah. you do. And we're sorry that Nickelodeon claimed that they were They're in North Dakota false when claims they weren't at all. Because I would have been stoked. If I was from North Dakota, I get excited when somebody puts Tampa on the map. I can only I can only expect that somebody who puts North Dakota in a movie, I'd be like, hot damn, I'm watching this. Hey, Reginald, let's go see that movie in North Dakota. And what then they accent show. was that? <laughs> what was that? What was that? I don't even think I've heard that one. That was like, show. hey, Chachi, mixed with like a country accent. And then they show up in North Dakota. No, they're already in North Dakota. They're already there. They, they show there. up at the movie theater to watch monster trucks. And they're like, this is what part of North Dakota is that, Reginald? I don't think I've seen that part. Quick sidebar: Sam calls me Reginald. She's Eleanor. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> These are our country names. Yeah. We, we only use them when we go camping. So yeah. <laughs> we'll have to go to North Dakota and see if we can use them. But yeah, North Dakota. I don't know. Whenever I see Ohio in a movie, I'm yeah? always go, I, I'm always like, oh, why? <laughs> 
I always get excited <laughs> if it's Cincy, just because. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know why I, I get excited. Go, why? <laughs> Unless it's um, shoot, who is it? Who is it? Um, Charlie Sheen's brother. Martin Sheen. Not Mark. Martin Sheen. Martin Sheen. <laughs> Martin right. Sheen? <laughs> Martin Sheen. Yes. Martin Sheen. <laughs> Why is that? He's so upset I, about it. Oh, yeah. That sounds right. It's Emilio me. Estevez. Right? <laughs> oh. That's his brother. <laughs> Who's Martin you, Sheen? You should look up Martin Sheen later. <laughs> is Martin Sheen the dad? Is it the dad's name? I don't know. Now I'm on pins and needles. He was so offended. That's the dad. <laughs> Damn it, Eleanor! <laughs> yeah, it's the dad. Okay. But, See, I was in the same family, and he was just yeah, like yeah. was not having it. No, I know. No, Emilio Estevez loves Cincinnati. Oh. He has a whole movie about the public library. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like a movie, oh. movie, not just like a documentary. He did a whole movie in the Cincinnati library. I remember that. But back to monster trucks. That stepdad at the end, man, Sheriff Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Sheriff Rick was the man. He just fired is what he was. <laughs> no, no, no. Hired. Promoted. How do you promoted promote to... yourself above the Sheriff? Super Sheriff, Tim. <laughs> Super Sheriff. <laughs> Come on. It's a kid's movie. <laughs> now sure. he gets to ask for even more cows to get off the side of the road. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I get it but when he pulls into that with a giant truck. Mm-hmm. The giant dump truck. I'm just sitting there like, he's going to run over their truck. Their trucks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Also, he fit perfectly. I'm assuming it was literally built for that vehicle to get through there. Probably, yeah. Also, I don't know why they had one of those, but yeah, continue. Well, because they were dig- digging in that ravine at the end with the giant crater. Had to put the dirt somewhere. Go make some bullshit oh, up. Here we go. That. Clogging some holes. <laughs> Like some those, holes. those are usually used to like tow stuff i don't think those are used for like dirt no nope, only dirt i don't like, know i don't that's I sit at a desk I don't know. also i don't think they move like they move quickly because they're big i don't think they move as quickly as it was portrayed in the movie no, they put some yeah. turbo diesel in it that might help i don't know <laughs> I've never seen one of those. I've seen never them on seen like those? Tonka, Massive. like Tonka cars. Okay, because I've never seen one. I've not IRL. seen human to scale. Yeah, and it just looked massive. No, that was pretty to scale. Really? I've, I've just not seen but it. But that's what, yeah, for what they are, yeah, that was to scale, pretty effective. But uh, effective, that's not the right word. Efficient? No, that's wrong too. No, that's we don't word good either. I'm really guys. good with words. Sam's yeah, our word no, person. That, that that truck, uh, I don't know, it was out of place, but it was in the movie. So it was, it was there. It was, <laughs> it was there. there. And it was used in the ways that it was used. And then they just lit that road on fire. It's cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, Sheriff Dad. Now, I got I got to say, like, at the end, though, like, you'd expect that that Sam kid, the ginger, mm-hmm. got nothing. Mm-hmm. He's not hanging out with him. Like, Meredith even said, like, yeah. you're going to have to hang out with him. I was expecting yeah. him to drive behind him with his car now. But I nope. expected him to be in one of the trucks. Yeah, I know. I was a little, a little upset that, that he got chapped. I, I guess he had to hold down the fort at the dealership, but... Probably. Yeah, I think it's odd that he didn't get another scene, but the weird yeah. people that we don't even know who they are in the green truck, like, they wrapped that up where she just, like, waves to him. <laughs> in her, in their, her little like, Volkswagen? Yeah, their little car at the yeah. end. Like, they like, yeah, contributed sister, nothing. girlfriend? I don't know. I don't know. Right. It's just supposed to be, like, the guy that probably bullies him or something. Yeah, but he but. didn't even... He just did one off, like, one terrible joke. That was it. Oh, God, yeah. She didn't well, even say anything. the girlfriend, like... Yeah, you could tell she was, like, not Kinda really into, into him. the boyfriend or whatever. But yeah. She, yeah, into that in the trip <laughs> yeah. but the the dealership with the the redhead kid he talked about how they had to be out by 7 a.m there's no way they were out by seven. there's no way well also where was everybody at because the corporation or whatever had like everybody was at work going walk around doing normal thing i'm like there's no way that all these people are here before <laughs> 7 a.m doing all this stuff and the, the dealership's empty like there's no way <laughs> right he's like it's and it was clearly very bright out so it was i don't, I don't know I, <laughs> hashtag doubt I don't know. yes i have doubts about that too because the whole thing was you had to be out at seven because the workers show up then right yeah. and yeah. so even yeah. if like okay let's say that by some miracle 
they made it before seven. You have to assume that they were close to seven, so you should be montage. seeing. Yeah. Yeah. You should be seeing people show up, but since it's a montage, yeah. nobody showed up. Man, I wish I could montage stuff. I would be so much faster at work. <laughs> I think my favorite part of the montage was when we see the little ginger's butt crack. Oh, yes! <laughs> you need oh, some God. crack spackle. <laughs> some crackle spackle. <laughs> That's why it crackles. <laughs> hey, yo. Just a boy in it. Boy and his monster. And his crack. <laughs> and his best friend's crack. Well, maybe not even his best friend, his but... <laughs> person that... His brother. Some kid that they just stole trucks from, basically. Yes. Yeah, because, like, that kid's also not getting a truck parts that back. came out of nowhere. Where did you get these random parts, these aftermarket parts for these trucks? I don't know. This is weird. You mean just random Dodge dealerships don't have those parts? I mean, I saw, like, two Mopar boxes... I don't but even Mopar know what that wouldn't is. make it's like uh, Dodge's like that's what you call like Mopar no car like yeah <laughs> I don't I don't know anybody that says that personally yeah, it's it's a it's a car thing but okay okay like a Dodge performance you know you're like yeah Mopar is what they call Mopar. Challenger Charger stuff like that you know <laughs> Tim showing his car love yeah sorry uh but yeah no I had a lot of issues with car stuff in this film and I'm probably going to in the future I try not to but. It happens. It's uh, Tim's they, thing. They just had all these Tim's got parts. our beef. Tim's got his cars, and I've got my yeah. weird random voices. There you go. Wait, you guys didn't like my voice? No, I loved your voice. <laughs> can I get it again? I don't know how to replicate it. I'll I don't know. think I you can. She can't do that again. <laughs> I don't think you can. <laughs> We've been together for eleven years, and I don't think I think you can replicate Sam, that. Sam, just pretend you're in North Dakota. <laughs> go. <laughs> go. I'll work on it. I'll work on uh, it. She's not gonna try. Nah, she is nah, not nah. going to try. <laughs> but it's harder I, under pressure. It, it is, is a lot. Yeah. So, like, just thinking about this movie. It's a movie about a monster that goes into a truck mm-hmm. against an evil oil company. Yeah. How was this made? Like, elevator p- pitch this for me. So, we've got... <laughs> we've I, you're got losing it. me. Hold on! You a big Hold picture on. person? Let's see. I have a movie about a high school kid who fails biology and he doesn't have a dad or at least his dad's a piece of shit and then you should be like yeah 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 that's good that's good because that's what they like that's what they like that's what all these movies are like and then he finds a monster somehow finds a monster and then instead of you know being scared of it or like setting it free like free willy he puts it in his truck because all bro wants to do is to have a car and so he puts it in the truck and then we just get to be like woo it's in the truck yeah and then the bad guys come and they're like we want the monster and he's like no he's my truck and movie oh okay See, so like, did and the that voices could be a help? Very real pitch. Yeah, I think it know. did. Right. Yeah. So like, I, I will say it came from a four-year-old. <laughs> That's fine. See, if you get excited about it, like I was, oh, there's she more was chances that it'll get it passed. She was yeah. flailing. Yeah. So if you're trying to make <laughs> I a movie, tell. I can tell. <laughs> you can just I, like, envision it. Yeah. 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 I so like, if you're it, trying yeah. to pitch a movie, just start flailing. Yes. Right. And get excited. Be very emphatic. Emphatic. Mm-hmm. Tim's throwing his hands at his computer right now. And then any questions that you have about it, like, well, what other characters are going to be like, we're going to have a fat kid, and we're going to show his butt, and we're only going to show him for a couple scenes. <laughs> That's how you get movies done. That's it? Yeah. That's how. All right, and good scene. Yes. Yeah. Now, will you write this all up for us? Thanks. Like, were you just like a big picture guy? Write out the script. Yeah. Oh, I don't do that. Well, do it anyway. See, yeah. that's probably what happened in this movie. That's why we have so many questions. Because somebody that clearly doesn't know cars got together with yeah. somebody that clearly doesn't know how to write a script. And this is what <laughs> happens. Boom, done. I feel yes. like they were just like, guys, we need a friendly monster movie. What about what about a fat toothless? Toothless is popular. Uh, okay, roll it out. And then that was, you know. Yeah. And that was it. That was it. And then half the people in the world liked it, according to Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> half the people who watch the film will like it. Not half the people in the world. Half the people that's in the a world. Very, that's a very large <laughs> di- statistical difference there. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, all right, so, not so, half the people. So going well, into, well, yeah, I can't be half the people because North Dakota probably hated it, but continue. But South Dakota loved it because it was... Because they were like, <laughs> North Dakota. What about East and West? Oh. <laughs> East Dakota? That's probably where those people were that came in early and that's that what, were yeah. making those voices. They're from East Dakota. Yeah. Oh, that's what it was? Mm-hmm. Uh, see, yeah. I don't know the East Dakota accent that well. It was that. I assume that's like Minnesota, right? Minnesota. Minnesota? Yeah. Oh, that map is way too small. <laughs> I tried to turn around to look at our map to confirm. <laughs> no, it's definitely to the east, for sure. Minnesota's? Yeah. Yeah, but I was saying, like, directly. Uh, um, okay, anyways, I want to get into where have you guys seen these actors and actresses no from? Nowhere. It's a Roblo and the Fat uh, Ginger. You don't know where no. Trips is from? No. Trip is Havoc in the X-Men, the newer X-Men series. No. He's the guy that, like, he's, he's Scott Summers, him. also known as Cyclops, his older older brother. I thought he was younger in a lot of the comics, but they kind of go back and forth on age, I think. Yeah. I'm going to get attacked now by people who love X-Men more than I do. Mm. But, yeah, and, like, I know Tim's seen this movie, Hannah Montana. Oh, yeah. The Hannah Montana movie, he was in that. Nope. Nice. Classic. And he is in, I think it's on Fox, MacGyver. He's the new MacGyver. There's a new MacGyver? Yeah. Who knew? Yeah. The Trips people in MacGyver. North Dakota knew. Yeah, yeah. Probably not there. Because they're like, we don't watch anything with this kid anymore. So he's basically <laughs> typecast into... Yeah. Could be like this. <laughs> he's like, actually... I was going to say he's like... Sort of? Like he... I don't know what the correct word for this would be. But he's just kind of like a guy that works on cars. Or a guy that just like has Blow street shit up. smart. He blows shit up. Like, I don't know. He's not smart in X-Men. Yeah. So he maybe doesn't get along just... with Beast. I was going to say he's typecast as a dumb kid, but he's clearly not if he's MacGyver. So <laughs> well, I don't MacGyver, know. MacGyver, yeah. MacGyver can just get anything like a, to work. Yeah. MacGyver's like a, oh, a genius at improv like, engineering. Yeah. But, like, he's stupid in other areas, I think. <laughs> like, I don't know. I've not seen the show. Now. I feel like that's what MacGyver is. He just like can improvise, to, like engineer things really quickly for no reason at all. Like, yeah. He just he had just it's kind of like Charlie is an idiot savant when it comes to like playing the piano. Like, that is true. You know, that is true. He just kind of can just do stuff. But some of the other actors, Mr. Weathers, bet you didn't know, is Danny Glover. Okay. I know. Yeah, he's he's in like all the Lethal Weapons. They're making a new one. Yeah. He's been having a resurgence mm-hmm. or what yeah. is a renaissance? Is that? Mm-hmm. The Dernissance, is that what you guys say? Sam? Yeah, the Laura Dern's. for Laura Dern. But yeah, he's he's in um he's in the new Jumanji movie. Yeah, he is. Yep. Him and um him and Danny huh. DeVito. Yeah. Oh yeah, I know Danny. Reese DeVito. Tennyson. What character is Reese Tennyson? Reno nine one one. No, and no. No, I don't know that guy's <laughs> That's Rob Lowe. Yeah, Rob Lowe. No, what? Rob Lowe is Rob Reese Lowe. Tennyson. That what? I skipped a couple characters. Oh, too. no, okay, all right. No, sorry. You threw me off with the names because you used the name from the movie, not the <laughs> actor's name. And then I said Not Rob that Lowe. I knew the actor's name anyway. I knew Rob Lowe. Yeah, because I, I got that actor's name down, and that was very yeah. wrong. Yeah, Rob Lowe, St. Elmo's Fire, The Outsiders, Wayne's mm-hmm. World, Party Time, excellent. He's in The Lion Guard. He's also making mm-hmm. a renaissance Park himself. He, I feel like he's in everything now. Yeah. Yep, Chris Trager. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, Sheriff Rick, better known as Barry Pepper. Barry Pepper! Nice. He's kind of been in a few yeah. big hits, you know, like Saving Private Ryan. He's in a couple things, yeah. True he Grit. Was in Saving Private Ryan. Oh. Yeah. The Green Mile. Wow. Yeah. In the Maze Runner series. Who's he in the Maze Runner? Vince. He's one of like. <laughs> okay, I don't know. <laughs> I know. I've been trying to get you to rewatch that with me recently so that we can just watch all three of them in a row. But he's the he's he's one of the, the guys that try and help them help in okay, air quotes. Okay, got it, got it. Um, and then we got Cindy. Cindy is Tripp's mother. Also Holly from oh, yeah. the, That's Amy yeah. Ryan. She's I, also I in refer to her. Like, you refer to her strictly as Holly? No, as uh, Michael's wife. <laughs> <laughs> I referred to her as Holly I kept the whole her time. Michael's wife, because I couldn't remember her name. <laughs> She's been doing like lots of small I'm the mother. Yeah. Like I'm not, I'm barely in the film, Mm -hmm. but I'm the mom. But I'm still there to get my paycheck. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now Tim, Tim was trying to talk about Jim Dowd, the scientist. Yes. Yes. Thomas Lennon is his real name. Okay. He's Lieutenant Dangle in Reno 911. Yep. Uh Yeah. 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 Or Sam knows him better. He's in, I love you, man. He he has the famous quote, you're a whore, Peter. Yes. So good. What? 
I love you, man. Jason Siegel with Siegel. Paul Rudd. And he's yeah, slapping the bass. Slap the bass. I can't remember him in that. Um, so... It's been a long time since. Paul Rudd's character is trying to make make a new friend, and somebody sets him up right. with um, Thomas Lennon's character. And Thomas Lennon, Lennon thought it was like a date date, and then he's hugging. Yeah, he's hugging oh, that okay. other dude, and they walk past. I don't know. That's why he says you're a whore, Peter. <laughs> Maybe it's I not that iconic. <laughs> yeah, uh, Burke is played by Holt yeah, McCallany. Bunch too. Holt, what a name. Holt McCallany. He is in Fight Club. Oh. He's one of the random fighters. Okay. He's the mechanic. He, he gets recruited by, I don't I don't know if it's by Edward Norton's Tyler or if it's Brad Pitt's Tyler. Or, yeah, just one of those two characters. I mean, he looks like a big guy. I can see that. Yeah, he's he's the guy who starts saying his name is Robert Paulson. Oh. That's him. Um, I've seen Fight Club a bit. Uh, we got Brienne. Guys, everybody's favorite character, Brienne. Brienne of Tarth? Not Brienne of Tarth. That's Brienne. <laughs> Sorry. Brienne is Samara Weaving. She's the blonde girl. <laughs> oh. She's in Ready or Not. So that we saw the trailer for that a bunch in yes. theaters. And then she's also in Three Billboards outside of Ebbing, Missouri. Oh, okay. She's Penelope. I think she's the girl that gets... Could be. Um, and, but uh, Meredith is Jane Levy. Okay. Well, Jane Levy is Meredith. She's in... If you like scary movies, she's like an evil dead and don't breathe. Oh, okay. She's in, I've seen her before. In Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist, Castle Rock, and Shameless. That Extraordinary Playlist show just started on here yeah. this year, so... Yeah, she's Zoe. She's the main character. Okay. And then... Sam Gelden, Tucker Albrizi. He's an AP Bio. He's one of yeah. he's one of the students in AP Bio. He's like the yeah, he's like the weird kid. It, well, <laughs> the weird kid or one of the one weird of kids. The- <laughs> I'm trying to like. Well, he does like the weird stuff. He like, does a uh, lot of weird stuff in that show. I love yeah. every part of it. Yeah, that show's amazing. But yeah, and then Chris Wedge was the director, guys. You wouldn't have seen his film called Ice Age. <laughs> nice. He's also voices. Scrap the squirrel. Nice. Oh. Yeah, but, but I didn't know that. Showstopper right Show there. Showstopper. Uh, so I want to talk about your favorite monster trucks because even though we weren't, you know, we didn't really see monster trucks in the theory you of like know. monster jam. You saw like. Sunday, a- Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> yeah, but you saw monster trucks, like literal monster trucks. So, <laughs> Tim, who was your favorite monster truck when you were a kid? Did you ever go to those? Oh, uh, Grave Digger. Everybody's is Grave Digger. Yeah, because I don't watch Monster Trucks. Because that's the only know. one everybody knows. <laughs> yeah. Like anybody ever knows. What's his color scheme? It's green and black. Yeah. There's some purple in there. Everybody loves yeah, Grave Digger. Because he yeah. digs graves. I think I actually had a little toy Grave Digger. I believe it. I oh, believe we did. It. For sure. I didn't. Yeah. We did. And I think we actually had like a video that was like <laughs> highlight no, I, reels of Grave Digger. Oh, my Digger. God. I had I had a monster truck video game. Now that I think about it, did you really? Was it for like the yeah. Dreamcast? But I, I think I literally, yeah, I think I literally only played Grave Digger. Yeah, there <laughs> you, you go. Didn't. Sam, what are the other and names? Maybe like the monster one, the the Claw Beast or whatever. Oh, I, well, I don't know is. that I think, one. I Sam's gonna read beast. some names, see if they really connect to you. Yeah, I was gonna mm. say so for everyone that's like us that only knew Grave Digger really growing up. Um, <laughs> let, let me give you your monster truck education here. Here are a couple of popular ones. Maximum Destruction. Mm. Mm-hmm. Very nice of sound effects. Blue Thunder. All right. Interesting. Monster Mutt, which to my knowledge, I think is just a dog. I like just want to believe truck. it's the dog from the movie Dumb and Dumb Dumber. Dumber. <laughs> Yeah. Maybe it's like That's that. the one Tim really used. Bigfoot! No. Which, Big you know. Bigfoot, that was it. That was the other oh, one. Oh, there you go. Yeah? Yeah. knew it. Where um, Harry and the Hendersons also drives that around. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> this one, this next one's Sam's favorite. This I'm... is my favorite one. I've never seen it, never heard of it, but it's my new favorite one. Backwards Bob. He doesn't deserve the whole announcer spiel because his name is Backwards Bob. Like You didn't even on. write down El Toro Loco. I did not. I like El Toro Loco. Mm. I want you to refer to me as El Toro Loco from now on. <laughs> okay. At least for the rest of this podcast. I mean, you already knew that, like... <laughs> Is that right, Backwards Pop? 
<laughs> so Tim is Big Tim is Bigfoot. Big Bigfoot. <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah, I definitely. Yeah, remember Bigfoot now. Yeah. yeah. You guys, got any more iconic scenes in this Bigfoot and Backwards Bob? A lot of bees. I think the only other one I had that I just thought was really nice was when he first goes into the shop, right? And he's like being like, oh, I'm going to fix up this truck before he meets Screech. He is like fake driving. He's like, (laughs) and I like totally remember doing that as a kid. And then also, did you do it as a high schooler? No, which is part of the point that I was trying to make here. And then the other high school ginger guy, when they're at the dealership, he hops in one and he goes, and I just think that's so funny because they went full teenage. They're so old to be doing that. Unless in North Dakota, like when you don't have your driver's license, that's just what you do. I'm so sorry, North Dakota. I I think we're going to have to send Sam to North Dakota. I think they were just trying to make to be kids playing with cars. But I know. I mean, I'll be honest. I make car noises randomly sometimes. In like, he does. I, See? I, I yeah, when we're flying I, in a plane, he still he tries to drive the plane. Yeah, I I will do weird stuff like that, but very briefly and not that like out there. But That's I still thought around. that scene was weird. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I I make car noises randomly and people call me out on it. <laughs> <laughs> Tim just like, vroom, vroom, and yeah. you're sitting yeah. there like in a restaurant. And you're like, what? Yeah. <laughs> I was so then, I was imagining driving my car. It's been weeks. So I guess he's not too old to be making those noises then. But <laughs> <laughs> maybe to that extent. Yeah, it was a yeah, long. Yeah, he was scene very it. into it. Yes. Yeah. Tim, you got any? I mean, Bigfoot, you got any scenes? <laughs> What is your El Toro Loco? No. Yeah, I'm uh, El Toro Loco. My my uh, only other thing is like the monster's strength. Again, it's kind of just like a random, you know, do whatever they want in the film to make it fit. But like at one point it shows it being strong or being able to this or that. And then all of a sudden it's like weak in a certain thing. And like it breaks through the, the concrete wall at one point. Like no problem. But like they can't get out of those plastic boxes. I don't know. That's true. Down. I assume they were starving. <laughs> Those ones, yeah, but like he ends up feeding them. Yeah. I don't know. Like he does give them some. But I guess it's also that they're like amphibious, so I would imagine they have to be in the water a little bit, so that's probably part of it. I don't know. It's just like it had the strength to break through these wall, like no problem, but then like it didn't accidentally break something on the truck. Right. So, like, it How does it know the tensile strength of any of that stuff? It just kinda like Well, he doesn't like actually things. squeeze much. He's like no, I'm just saying, air, like, just rotating him it. moving around and stuff, or, like, you know, him jabbing yeah. with the air. You don't think that would make him twitch and, like, break something? Or that think. he just happens to fit underneath a car so perfectly? Yeah. <laughs> well, it wasn't perfect. <laughs> uh, I, well, after I the honestly answers. don't know where he actually was. Although yeah. he does squish. Like, they kind of didn't, like, were a liquid. So I don't know. Well, is he, is he like a cat? Does he not abide by the laws of physics? Yeah, no, I would say, yep, mm-hmm. That's exactly it. That's exactly it. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Hundred percent. So yeah, I've got nothing else on this yeah. on this flick. So Sam, as your box office bus, would you flip this on? <sighs> Man, you know, I was ready for you to ask that question and not at the same time. I would actually say that I wouldn't. What? Sam was crying and everything. I did not cry <laughs> through this movie, but I did Often. get very into it. Like when they were in grave peril, I was like, oh no, oh no, which I usually don't do that often. But <laughs> she got real into it. I just think while I did enjoy it and it's worth one watch, maybe there's just a lot going on that I think is just bizarre. I don't know. I just wasn't as entertained by it. Sorry. <laughs> She's putting her what about down. you, Bigfoot? Did you forget he was Bigfoot? I did. I had to look <laughs> it's at okay, Bob. Oh, uh, backwards, Bob. I'm going to say no. <gasps> Even for a kid's movie. Uh, Even for a children's film. Like, watch other stuff. This is why <laughs> like, it was a bust. All right. Go, wa- go watch Frozen again or something. I don't know. <laughs> like, I would just, flip it on if, if I had gonna, kids. If you're no, I <laughs> no, no, no. If you didn't have, if, if you're you gonna had consider kids. watching this, go watch something you've already seen that you know you like. 
Like, that's okay, my opinion. okay. But now I guess you have to watch it to see how terrible it is, but whatever. <laughs> I can't even say that it's, like, terrible, terrible. It's just that it's not entertaining. <laughs> but it was entertaining at certain parts, and then you're just like... I didn't find any entertainment in it. <laughs> False. But, okay, I, I liked... I liked uh... Uh, Lieutenant Dangle and Rob Lowe. That was about it. Just that the fact they were in it. But okay, that, okay. But uh, yeah, as two like adults, I don't know if I'm gonna flip it on myself. It's free on Crackle. If right. You want to check it out? Not gonna hurt you. Might you, you might lose roughly two hours because of the Might learn something about cars. Oh wait, never mind. Hey, <laughs> I learned about the elephant motor. That's true. Yeah. You and might? I learned that well, this movie you only has. It up after. That's not because it was. I didn't even look it up. It just happened. He just to be called on the it list. the elephant. Yeah. You might learn that cars... nothing about North Dakota. <laughs> yeah, you will not learn about North Dakota. You will also learn that there are more. After watching this movie, you'll think there are only Chrysler vehicles on the road because <laughs> that there's actually only Chryslers in the movie. That's crazy. But that's. I mean, that's a thing, right? They do that in plenty of movies. Yeah, and speaking of sponsorships. Anybody else outside of me catch the Big Red sponsorship? All the time. Because people just don't drink red cream soda that often, so I always catch Oh. So he comes out of the house at one point drinking some Big Red, and I'm like, he's got Big Red. And then at one point, I think they're in the Dodge truck store. Mm -hmm. There's a Big Red vending machine back there. Yeah, he gets one out of there. Yeah. And I was like, Big Red, where are you at? (laughs) <laughs> people love big red i like big red that is why you would flip it on for yeah i just yeah i need my big red to stay around <laughs> all right tim. tim no his name is big oh shit bigfoot my boy uh-huh. Uh-huh. your turn to pick the movie oh, next week right. all right we're gonna spin the wheel spin it. all right here we go Ooh. So, Tim, uh-huh. this is a category we haven't gotten yet. Woo-hoo! I was actually really excited for this one. It is called Dreaming Originals. Backwards, Dreaming. Bob, you want to explain that? Ooh, 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 ooh. Dreaming that's Originals <laughs> oh, is gosh. anything that is on the streaming platform. So, if we think about, like, <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> Let me continue before you laugh at me. That was produced by the streaming platform. How's there that? You go. So if we talk about Disney Plus, you could have Disney Plus originals like Lady and the Tramp and Togo, or you could also have like Disney Channel original movies like Brink or Pixel Perfect. So Disney Plus has a lot more than like Netflix originals, which mm. will have like just Netflix or Hulu originals. Dare we go there? Because I don't think I've watched a single Hulu original. Most of those are horror. Yeah. So Bigfoot. But, Mr. Bigfoot. Mm-hmm. You're gonna, you're gonna have a task ahead of you, sir. I pick Harry and the Hendersons. <laughs> no, <laughs> that was refuses round. to watch that again. Wait, wait, wait. Let's rank our movies. <laughs> so I would put Harry and the Hendersons, and then Monster Trucks, and then Anna. I'd put Anna. Good, good, bad, bad. Harry and the Hendersons and Monster Trucks. Okay. Really? Okay. Well, it's the same order for me from last week. Just. I know. Just yeah. <laughs> and Tim is Harry, Harry, Harry. So do I just pick the platform or? Uh, you can just, we don't have to decide the platform yet. We'll announce it on our Instagram and our oh, Twitter. Oh, fancy. Fancy boys. No. So fancy. So check out there to see what we picked later this week. And then also you can listen to us on Anchor or Spotify. So Two platforms. Yes. South to North Dakota accent, Sam, go. I can't do it. <laughs> I feel it will never be replicated. I'm sorry, North Dakotaites, North Dakotians. I didn't mean to attack you so much. But, but she did but attack you I a did. lot. All right. Yeah. Tune in next week, fellas. For this epic episode of yeah. Flipper Flick. Flipper Flick. Flip. 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 Flip.